Hello, in this video uh, we are going to discuss about heaps. Heap is an interesting data structure with some uh, elegant solutions having it. Uh, what, is, what is a heap? Uh, heap is basically a binary tree with uh, two properties. First one is shape property which says uh, the binary tree is essentially complete or simply complete. What does it mean is all its levels are full except possibly the last level where some rightmost uh, leaves could be missing. Uh, so in this case, uh, this is level 0, level 1 and level 2. Level 0 and level 1 are full. Level 2 which is the last level, only one leaf is missing here. So this is uh, a, a, an essentially complete tree. Uh, on the other hand, uh, a fully complete tree is something where all the levels are full. So this is not uh, a fully complete tree because the last level is not full. Uh, now the second property is heap property. It's also known as parental dominance. Uh, what it means is uh, the key in each node is at least as large as uh, the keys in its children. 5 is uh, greater than or equal to 4 and 2. 7 is greater than or equal to 1. 10 is greater than or equal to 5 and 7. And uh, the other nodes which are leaves, uh, we, there are, they don't have children. So they satisfy the heap property by, uh, by default. So uh, this particular binary tree satisfies both the properties and hence it is uh, a heap. We have three binary trees here. Which of them are heaps? Uh, the first one is a heap because it satisfies the shape property as we have already seen. And it satisfies the heap property also, parental dominance. 10 is greater than or equal to 5 and 7, 5 is greater than or equal to 4 and 2, 7 is greater than or equal to 1, and hence it's a heap. This one is not a heap because it doesn't satisfy the shape property. The last level, there is a missing uh, leaf here, but uh, that's not the rightmost. Uh, it's, not, it's not towards the right. There are leaves even after that. That's why it doesn't satisfy the shape property. This one doesn't satisfy the parental dominance because 5 should have been greater than or equal to 6, which is not true. Right, and that's why this is the only heap, and uh, this is a heap, and these two are not. And uh, here, one thing we can, uh, we can conclude for heaps is, the root always has uh, the largest element, if that is unique, otherwise it is one of the largest elements. Um, and uh, one more thing is uh, these, these, this example is specifically called max heap because uh, the root always has the max element. On the other hand, uh, a heap is called min heap uh, where uh, if, if the, in, in min heap basically the root will have the minimum element. And uh, obviously the parental dominance definition also reverses there where uh, uh, the key of uh, every node is uh, less than or equal to the key value of uh, its children. Right? That is for the min heap. And also these are specifically called binary heaps because these are binary trees. So whenever we say heap, by default we mean it's a max binary heap. Now uh, we know that a binary tree can be represented uh, in an array uh, in this fashion. And uh, representing a, a, a essentially complete tree in an array is very efficient because we don't get to waste any space. Uh, so this is an array representation of a binary tree. We could have started with zero, but we are starting with one just for convenience. Uh, so in that sense, it's not a waste of space. Uh, and, uh, and how are we representing this one? So if I were to explain that, uh, so uh, root is always at index one, and uh, the nodes of uh, uh, level 1 are at uh, 2 and 3 and uh, level 2 are at uh, 4 to 7 uh, likewise uh, and after that. So this is uh, and, and, and also uh, we can uh, visualize here the children of 1 are at 2 and 3, children are of, of 2 are at 4 and 5 and uh, children of 3 are at 6 and 7, children of 4 are at uh, 8 and 9 children of 5 are at 10 and 11 we don't have that's because we don't have a child right here we don't have a right child of 2 so it also says that 6 uh, children of 6 were supposed to be at 12 and 13 and we don't have those indices in our array which means that this is a leaf it doesn't have children
So these five are leaves and these five are non-leaf nodes. Uh, so in, in any binary tree, uh, roughly half of them are leaves and half of them are non-leaves. Uh, if n is even, the number of nodes is even, then uh, exactly half are uh, leaves and exactly half are non-leaves. If we have one more, the eleventh would be here, right, as a right child, and which will appear here, and uh, that will be a leaf. So there will be one more leaves than non-leaf nodes, if n is odd. Yeah, so uh, this is all about representing a heap. Uh, construction of heaps, uh, let's discuss in some other video. Right. Bye.